this is what happens when you leave somebody around to get bored. They play with everything in the room and then the package they've been waiting for to do a unboxing, well in this case a bagging, and you get this. The last weary shop girl at the Valentine kiosk. Yeah. Hello, people. It's me. I'm back. It's Anne. Anyway, I got a package in. I was, yes, I was playing with my colors. I have my colors all over my face. <laughs> and yeah, I kind of went ham with things and put stuff together. I just kept packing stuff on. I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't planning to do anything. And then my shop miss a package came in and i have been promising myself that i would do an unpackaging because I'm, I'm fascinated by the unboxing videos so many people do so me being me shop miss a if you haven't already heard of them is a inexpensive way to get a lot of stuff the majority of the things that they sell are a dollar. Now see, I had not opened it before I started talking to you. When they send things to you, I've gotten them in boxes and envelopes, but when you pull it out of the initial package, you were faced with the bubble wrap that doesn't want you to get in anywhere. You have to look to see if you can find where to put the scissors. I think I found a spot. It's kind of digging into some of the other packing in here, but it's the way it works. Anyway, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now, when you get past that first guardian layer and reach in and start pulling you get to some really pretty purple paper but you still have to convince this thing to turn loose again this one's a little more tied up than the last one there we go now this is what the inner package looks like. Now, again, you got more of the fine bubble wrap, you got the fancy tissue paper, you got a pretty sticker. So, let's see what we've got. More tape. Whoa! Okay. I have definitely hit the jackpot. I love this. This is the fun stuff. Okay, first thing. Because once I opened that bundle, things started sliding a little. Now, they literally, they got a little bit of every kind of thing you can imagine. And there's my first one. Just some pretty little sparklers. I may have to put those on by the time we get to the end of this. Now, one of the other things that I discovered is they have some of the most wonderful eyelashes. Now, the ones I pick up most often are the Carol Lashes. Now, these are 110s. I've had 
the S2s, but the Kara lashes are 100% human hair. So no, they didn't attack the dog, they didn't attack the cat. It's 100% human hair. Each pair is a dollar. Now, if you get fratzed by the, the human hair thing, just remember that that is a byproduct of the wig making industry. Not such a big deal. And then I got some of the AOA Studio lashes. Now these are going to take a little getting used to because, my goodness, they are fluffy. Fluffy, 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 fluffy compared to what I normally get. Fluffy, fluffy, fluff, much fluff. These are called Gaia. And they are faux mink. They are faux mink. And I'm going to try very hard to get used to some of the longer lashes just because they're pretty. I mean, you know, how much prettier do you need to be? Now, I got four pair of those. It's still dollar a pair. Dollar. Nice looking. Nice lashes. Yes. And I got a refill on my AOA Studio setting powder because I needed it. Now remember, that's dollar, one dollar. A little bit of lash glue, do do, little lash glue. See, I am getting better about where to put things in front of the camera. Mostly, if I wear it on the end of my nose, it works well. All right, more stuff in wrap. Come on, come on, come on. Turn loose of the pretty things. Okay. AOA Studios Press Powder in Translucent. I love the setting powder that I got in the Translucent. So I decided to try the press powder too. Again, we're still talking a dollar an item. And this is one of the AOA Studio Velour Highlighters. Let's see, which one? This one is in the shade Lucky. I think it's pretty nice looking. It's still wrapped in plastic. So are most of the rest of these things. I will eventually get them all unwrapped completely. I will probably stop this in a little while and unwrap things so I can swatch. Just for you swatch happies. Now, this little item. I've got three of these. This is the small AOA Studio Magnetic Palette. They do sell singles. Some of their singles from the studio are, you know, a little more than a dollar, but most of those are specialty pieces. Yeah, small. It'll only take a few pieces. No mirror. But it was three bucks. I can work with that. I mean, nice case, magnetic closure, and sturdy design. I'm happy. Like I said, I have three. Okay. Retinol skin cream. Yes. Oh, come on. Evil. Evil people. They put this fancy sticker on it that says, Join our community. And it's like, look, I've already got an account. Chill out. All right. <coughs> Retinol Skin Cream. Uh, 
and it just says skin cream on one side with the name Lux and retinol and on the other side it's in French I think. No real smell. The jar is pretty full. Let's see if I can get some of the light off of that. So, but the jar is pretty much to the top, even with some of the shifting. Yeah, no smell. Oh, that feels nice. Feels really nice, and it disappears immediately. Nice. Yes, I'm putting a little more retinol into my skincare because yeah, 60 wrinkles you know how that works ah another one of the fun things gloves neck gloves <laughs> these are about right these are about you can get colors there's all kinds of different colors you can get the black ones you can get white ones you can get red ones you don't have to just you know go with the same same that everybody else gets but it's a dollar Let's see, there's the thumb hole. I always worry about things like this because being a fair sizable kind of person, you always got to wonder whether or not things are going to fit with any sort of grace. Okay, I'm happy. Gloves! Net! Fishnet strikes again! Quick, I need a party! Okay, now, we've got some nifty stuff here. This is some of the AOA Studio specifics that I ordered. And I've got one LA Colors contour stick in a bronzy color because I've been fiddling about with some of the cream products and I figured, yeah, yeah I can work with a dollar. I can work with a dollar. We'll see whether or not I actually like working with the cream products. But, you know, it's a stick. It's a cream product. It's wrapped in layers of plastic. So, yeah, if you want swatches, you'll be waiting a bit. And then there's this pretty blue lipstick. Let's see, is this one all wrapped up or is it... Can I get into it now? No, it's all sealed up. And... We have a AOA Studio contour stick. Like I said, I'm playing with some of the cream stuff. I paid a couple of bucks for a cream blusher from e.l.f. I like the blusher mostly, but I didn't want to go crazy picking up all kinds of other cream stuff expensively. So now I've got that one. And oh my replacement skinny mascara. If you haven't seen the video where I talk about skinny mascara before, I gotta try and remember to put the, uh, put the link in. But this is wonderful. It's a tiny thin wand that is perfect for getting under those little tiny lashes under your eye without having the huge um, wand from the the ones you normally use on the upper lashes blocking or taking up your whole eye or or like poking you in the eye while you're trying to see those little fine lashes to put the mascara on this stuff is a godsend 
wonderful stuff. No, this video is not sponsored. I'll probably say that several times in other places when I do the edit. It's like, it'll be time. Let's see, what was this one? La, 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 la. Oh, yeah. This is Well, they don't make up your mind terribly well. They tell you you can use it for a highlighter. Or you can use it as a eyelid primer, and it's a white, so I was looking at it more for that. But it's also, you know, I'll put it on as a highlighter, use it as an eyelid primer. I'll have to check it out, let you know. He. All righty. Liquid Wonder Matte lipstick from AOA Studio. Isn't that a pretty blue? Yes, it's a lipstick. The name is Lit. And yeah, if I'm going to keep playing with my eye colors and, and playing with some more radical colors now and again, I figure I might as well go the whole way. So yes, I now have that pale blue lipstick. I have this dark blue lipstick. I have this one that's called Cashmere that's kind of a silvery gray. And then I have Diamond Gloss in what they call Mermaid. And it's just sparkly. All kinds of sparkly. Yeah. Put that over that dark blue and see what happens. Finally. And I'm going to remind you guys again, all this stuff is a dollar a piece. Except for like, it was $3 for the little magnetic um, palettes. Now, let us look at the brushes. Now, the first four brushes I show you are not a dollar. They're a whole dollar eighty-five. These particular brushes, part of the reason they're a dollar eighty-five instead of a dollar is that part of the money goes to children's education. They have two different charity sets that they work with. There is the pause where they've got some things that sell for $1.55 that go to support one of the local animal shelters. And you can get things like beauty blender type sponges. You know, it's just a pink egg. Um, they've got a few other shapes. They've got some brush sets that go with that. You know, the brushes are $1.55. So the extra money goes to the animals directly. The other thing is they are very much, AOA Studio is very much cruelty free. So, you know, I, I it doesn't matter to me, you know, what the brushes are or which charity function they're going to. They're worth it. They're gorgeous brushes. They really are. I mean, this is just beautiful. This is the E140. An angle blender. Alrighty. This next one is the E142. And it's a pencil brush. This is one of the $1.85 brushes. Now, all of the brown bamboo handle brushes are. The dollar eighty-five educa children's education fund pieces, and I've got grandkids that seriously can use all the help they can get. The two youngest are severely autistic, 
So anytime anything I do or anything I'm buying contributes to, to children's education, excuse me, children's education, I'm here for it. This is the E141. And it's just a fluffy blender. And lastly, on the education brushes, we have the F30, which is basically just a small kabuki. I love the bristles on these things. They've got bounce, and they're flexible, and they're not hair. They're not animal hair at all, ever. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. I've got one more bamboo brush. And that's the E143, which is a flat shader. I mean, look at, look at this. It's got bounce. The tips are soft. It doesn't scratch. They're great. They really are. One of the things that I never seem to have quite enough of are small brushes to do detail stuff. This is the F116 small concealer brush for doing things like sneaking up under your eyes to spread out your product there. The other thing these are actually good for is putting down the, the, the either the concealer or, or the primer or whatever so you can do your cut crease. I mean, it's nice, fine little brush. This is one of their standard pieces. This is a dollar. This is the regular AOA Studio black handle. Okay. I-112. Large pencil and or crease brush, depending on what you want to call it. They don't always tell you what they think that you should call it. They just put the little identifier on it. E-112. Again, it's got the fine taper and a nice round form. It's a great brush. This is the second one of these I've got. Some of that comes from trying to do more than one film in a day and having dirty brushes to deal with. Okay, E-122. Another flat shader. A little bit wider than one, a little smaller than another. Nice and flexible. Got just enough stiffness to put some, put the colors down with a little bit of pull to it so that it works with trying to get the foil to come up when you've got it damp. E124. No, we're not playing bingo. This is the smaller tapered pencil brush. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. They've actually got one that's smaller than this. So you can get into tight spots if that's what you're trying to do. Trying to do those inside corners real tight or trying to do a line real tight where you've got your cut crease going and you want to lay just a single line of something down near that cut crease edge, that'll do you. This last one is the E123. There's another flat shader. Basically what I was going for was the different sizes so that I've got a range of sizes to work with. And I like the fact that most of these, the AOA Studio with the black handle, most of them, the handles are nice and long. So if you're trying to do one of those delicate pressure routines and just barely dust something, then you've got the control. You don't have, you know, like a, a little short handle that you've got to choke up on to start with. Anyway, that is the end 
of getting everything out of the box. I will do a different video because this one's getting a little long. I will do a different, my shirt keeps climbing. I will do a different video to do the swatches and things. And I will see you later.